So we're here at SeaWorld today. Um, got here about, what What time is it, 11.30ish? I have no idea, what time. <laughs> 11.30 maybe. Yeah, so we're trying to get an early start so the um, heat index doesn't jump up on us. We are here for Oktoberfest? Um, or beer? Some... Yeah, beer fest. It's supposed to be beer and food and all kinds of good stuff, so we're excited. Yeah, um, we also forgot to mention we are going to try and possibly use our Aldi dining passes from the Passport to Summer. But yeah, uh, supposedly we only have until like the 13th to use it, so today it's might tomorrow. be that day. So this looks actually like a pretty good deal. You get uh, 10 four ounce samples, which is all I ever really want. And then past members get an additional three for $40. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So we just got our punch card and, and a little bee. Look at us, best friends now. Got 13 punches, and we're gonna go. We're gonna get some. Check beer. out some beer. So first beer, first beer we're trying Austin East ciders, mm -hmm. and I got the blackberry cider. I got the uh, what was it? The spiced peach cider. Spiced peach cider. We're gonna try it. It tastes more peach than um. I mean, I'm not sure what a spice, spiced peach is supposed to taste like, but I mean, I could definitely tell that it's a uh, peach flavored. But like, you know, of course, the apple cider hint of as well to it. It's really good though. Yeah, mine's really good. Kind of sour a little bit. Um, definitely tastes blackberry, but also the cider, which I guess is the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having a blackberry cider. So, but it's very good. I, we love Austin East Cider. We're happy with our very first uh, tasting. started drinking these but I think now we're a little bit hungry not too much we had breakfast not too long ago but well, we need to get the timer going <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go uh, get our timer going for our all-day dining we're gonna first stop at the uh, smoke smokehouse grill yeah smokehouse grill for my first meal I'm just getting a chicken salad with a side of coleslaw and ranch and a Diet Coke because I don't want to completely fill up so I'm trying to eat a little lighter. Randall went to go wash his hands but it looks like he got a chicken, a barbecue chicken plate with fries and a yeast roll and then he got chocolate pudding and a water because he's good about staying hydrated. All right so we just finished eating at the smokehouse grill. Um, I got the, well, the, just the chicken and you got what? It was, just a... it was like a smoked chicken salad. Yeah. It was very good. Um, I mean, it was, mine was just a basic salad with smoked chicken on it. But the chicken was really good, so I'm glad I got it. Well, like me, I got the, just the chicken. It was, but it was actually good. It came with a roll, some fries. Um, I also got a dessert. It was just pudding. But the chicken was surprisingly pretty good. Very moist. Very, yeah. yeah, it was very moist. I let Carol try a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, I had a bite of his and it was Super moist, very good. So now we're just gonna, I guess, gonna try and walk around the park now. I'm not sure do what, there, we might check out a show. We do have a uh, one use reservation seating. So maybe we'll do that or maybe we'll just get some more beer. It's so freaking hot. We're gonna step into the shop for some air conditioning and check out some merchandise. I don't know about y'all, but I have been in such a Christmas mood look with at all this. this heat. Look at this cute little mug! It's uh, $20. $20 but with our pass holder discount, it'd be like $4 off, I think. Yeah, so $16. Plus, I currently have $18 um, C bucks to use. So Yeah, so occasionally as pass holders, they give you C bucks to spend. So we might use it on this guy. When I was a kid, I used to love these like glass balls filled with, I have no idea what, but I used to think they were the coolest things. Who am I kidding? I still think they're super cool. Look at the turtle. 
I've been eyeing this shirt for forever. It's $40, but it's a long sleeve. Who wears long sleeve in Texas? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get this and like chop the sleeves off. Blonde, blonde beers. I got the, uh, I believe it's called the strawberry kiwi cider from uh, Arnold. But it's really good, you know, you can definitely tell the blend of the strawberry, the kiwi, and uh, as well as the cider. Uh, it's very, it is very sweet, but I mean, I typically like, like sweeter drinks. So um, it's, it's a good one for me. Nice to go on a nice water ride like Rio Loco, but fortunately it has been closed for the past several weeks. Rio Grill Burgers has also been under construction for quite a while as well. Um, I've heard they're supposed to be turning it into a sit-down restaurant. Um, I've never gone, so I can't tell if it's how great the food is, but excited to uh, see it once it's completed. Here's Catapult Falls. Unfortunately, this Friday they announced that it is being delayed until 2024. They used to have the, uh, what was it, the boat out here, but now they've taken that away too. <laughs> Still excited for the opening of it, but just kind of a bummer it didn't open in the summer. Hopefully there's not too much of an issue. Hopefully it's just one of those things where they couldn't get it open in the summer, so they decided to push it back to 2024. All right, so our Next timer for Aldi dining is up. We're gonna go get, um, I think it's called the Harbor Market, where we're gonna get some Asian food, get out of the sun, and it's starting to get hot. So they didn't have the Asian food option anymore, which I'm super sad about, but instead they had a restaurant called Mexican Creations, so I got the cilantro rice bowl. I got it with chicken and black beans, corn salsa, pico de gallo, and a side of guacamole. And then Randall got the Italian panini sandwich. It looks a little cold, which is kind of odd, but it looks good still. And potato salad on the side. So we'll see how it goes. So my meal was very good. Um, I'm super full already, so like, if I didn't have all day dining pass and I was just a regular park guest buying this full price, it would totally be worth it because you get so much food. Um, but as it is, it's very good. I uh, highly recommend it, especially with a side of guacamole. Um, with the all day dining pass, it comes with a side, so you don't have to pay that extra price. But it's super good. So I got the panini. Um, wasn't sure if Carol mentions this, but it is. Uh, it was not fully cooked at loops like or fully heated but it was still i mean it's still a good sandwich uh, the bread was a little tough as a sandwich by itself without like being fully toasted or grilled it was really good we'll get the panini again and um yeah, so far i mean we got, we got the aldi dining so can't complain that much see some babies. Let's see one, two, three, four, five. I'm sure there's oh six, seven. Oh look at that one. Oh eight. <laughs> They're all right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'll let you take a look. So we're done with the uh, sea lion visit, got some water, now we're heading over to the uh, 
Blue Goyal Dolphin Show because we have a reserve seating to use. So we're gonna go and use that. And then um, after that, maybe get some food. And then we'll see, uh, see if it's time to leave after that. So we just got done with the Beluga Whale Dolphin Show. We got that we tried to use our reserve seating, but we kept on just getting pointed around. So eventually we just- We were basically just like, just sit wherever you want, but yeah. only sit over here. I don't know, it's kind of confusing. Yeah. So we basically just tried to find the best spot we could. I mean, we were there so early, because they said be there 30 minutes early. Yeah. So we were there 30 minutes early and uh, there you know, was plenty of seating. So we just sat wherever we wanted. But now we are on our way to, what is it, Rosita's? Rosita's Cafe. So I was wrong, they close at four. I believe we can either go to Spanky's, which is fries, or the pretzel shop and get something there. So we're gonna go try that. Pretzels. <laughs> All right, so for our last meal today, I got the cinnamon sugar nuggets with the cream cheese dipping sauce. Randall got the pepperoni pretzel with the marinara sauce and just two waters because we are super thirsty but excited to dig in. The pretzels, I got the, I believe it was the pizza yeah. pretzel. It was, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm hungry. I don't know what it was, but it was delicious. It's definitely not better than like, you know, Auntie Anne's pretzel, but for not not having one around in uh, the sea world um, it was delicious uh, I would definitely recommend it like you know if you just want something like a nice small snack here yeah I uh, had the cinnamon sugar pretzels pretzel nuggets oh my gosh they were so good I was not hungry at all because <laughs> we've just been eating so much food today um, that I just wanted to get it just to get it but I'm so glad I did we paid a little bit extra to get the dipping sauces I got a cream cheese dipping sauce to go with yeah, it it was oh. like less less than three dollars it was so good. Such a good way to end the day. Well, thank you for watching this video. As yeah. Carol's. What? I was going to point to you and you can say like and subscribe. I don't know. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> how do people do this? How do people end videos? Just like this. Yeah. I don't, want, I don't want cooties. Pretend you love me. <laughs> Damn it.